Hey, what's up all you fishing addicts out there? One thing that I've been super curious about over the years and I can't remember because, I mean, did you eat these things when you were a kid? I, yeah, probably. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> so I've always been curious if these stalked trout actually taste good. So what we're gonna do, Cam is gonna try to catch one right now. As you guys can see on the stringer down here, we got quite a few that we've caught already. But it isn't a true catching cook unless you catch that thing on camera. So Cameron's gonna catch one. We're gonna take it to the fillet away fish mat. We're gonna fillet that thing up and we're gonna put it on the fryer and see if these stalk trout actually taste good. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. Tap that subscribe button. Trout coming up next. Got him! There he is. Double! Double. Oh that's, how pro, that's how pros do it? Is that how pros like do that. it? That's how pros do it. The trout magnet worked. Gotta get him up on the fish. Got him. There's another I haven't even got my line out. Dude, yeah, this one's gonna be it. This one's gonna be it. Oh, nice little trout. What we're doing there, guys, is we're just letting these little tiny Mad River worms just sink real slow and they cannot stay away from it right now. Oops. Oh, sorry, dude. All right, let's take this thing up, fillet him up, and yeah. see how, should we fillet him or should we just like gut him? Just gut him and butter? Him, I guess, I don't know. I didn't bring butter, I brought oil. Oh, that's fine. I got a, I got fillet knife ready. I got a fillet away fish mat this time so we won't slip it around. Let's do this. Nice little stalker bow there. We're just gonna, just bonked him and bled him real quick. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna turn it over to Marlon. See how horrible I can fillet this thing. Don't judge me, people. Ooh. Always get a nice, try to get an edge if you can on your blade before you, before you go to work on these fish. This thing looks pretty slimy, so I'm sure I'm gonna butcher him, but I'm gonna try here. We're gonna see how these things taste. I think I'm gonna leave the skin on though. I'm not gonna skin him. All right, so Cam bonked him, bled him. So now I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gut this trout, cut his head off, and then we're just gonna fill him up with some butter and some seasoning. I don't even have butter though, so we're just gonna use some oil. Cut him open like that. And then you just take these guts out of here. Give him a nice little cut right there in front of the heart. This is n I can't imagine this is gonna taste good, addicts. What do you guys think? You guys think that these things are gonna be tasty or what? This little knife from Gerber is the per, it's got a little flat head on it. It's a perfect thing to clean that blood out of the cavity. So after you kind of gut him, you'll want to kind of get in there with a, with some sort of flat or blunt object and clean that blood out. And then we're gonna just, right here, we're just gonna chop his head right off. Boom, just like that. We're gonna feed him to the catfish. And then let's take him down to the water here, Sean, and rinse him out. Get all the guts out of there. You don't want any of that stuff in the fish because that's probably what's not going to taste very tasty. Get all that blood out of there if you can. You can see how it's nice and pretty clean, huh? Clean enough, don't you think? What do you think, guys? Let's go see what he tastes like. Okay, so we got our trout here. He's all nice and cleaned out, nice and white, just how you like your meat. You know, you like the meat to be real white. And we're just gonna take some kicking chicken seasoning and some Johnny seasoning salt, and we're gonna just freaking load this thing up. Kicking chicken, baby. I honestly think I'm gonna take some oil and put some oil on the inside of this fish, too. Just to take a little bit of oil and kind of pour it in there. Kind of rub her around. Mmm. 
And we're gonna literally just freaking. Might want to put some hash marks in the uh, side of the fish too. You think? Put a couple of little into the meat just so it can kind of get some of that seasoning. And there you go. Yeah. We're gonna season the heck out of this, guys. We we're gonna get some kicking chicken all over this stuff. Just and then I'm gonna take some Johnny's and do the same thing. Cam, will you take some Johnny's? My hands are a little, a little freaking gross. Yes, but dude, you can't go wrong with Johnny's on anything, anywhere. Is that pan still warm? It's, it's going. I think it's go time. Let's do it. Throw some Johnny's in there. All right, guys. A little, a little sizzle action here. Maybe find out. Oh yeah. We're gonna boat him up. I'll let him just do it. Sounds like he's sizzling, huh? Yeah, that's good. I, I don't know, dude. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Well, we really brought this stuff to cook hot dogs. I don't think we were planning on cooking trout. Straight from the lake to the barbecue. All right, addicts, this thing's starting to get pretty pretty fried up. I think it's time for a flipper action here. Oh my gosh, it's cooking really fast, guys. It's got super crispy. What do you guys think? Are these gonna be tasty or not? I've heard that if you smoke them, they're not too bad. Clint, have you ever tried smoking them or anything? Cokety. I've only ate trout once. What'd you think? I'll eat kokanee. <laughs> All right, I think this thing's more than done. We're gonna get this fryer turned off here. Ooh, look at him, nice and crispy. All right, we're gonna let him cool off here. Sizzle. Let them cool off here for a second. We're gonna have everyone do a little taste test. Come on, guys. Come do a little taste test. Everyone's afraid. It smells yeah. like back in the day when you're poor and eating top ramen, and you're just pouring any kind of spice or anything in there. I mean, to just be honest, to it does different. smell. It does smell really good. But let's do the taste test. Who's first? Not I'll it. it. Nose I'll game. It. Nose game. Not it. What? I'm gonna eat it. Oh! oh okay. I ain't scared of eating cart before I'll eat this trout. Oh, yeah. Think it's gonna be good, you guys? There's some bones in there. I'm just gonna get this Decent, out. Decent, dude. Really? Oh, right, yeah. It's not that bad at all. Hey, Lee, wanna try a piece? It's actually pretty Come good. Come up here, Layden. You're not feeding it's me. It's pretty good, I ain't kidding. Session on camera. <laughs> well, I put enough seasoning on it. <laughs> it should just taste like the seasoning. That right. may be the case, but no matter what, it tastes good. Here we go. Careful rod tips. Honestly, it's not bad. Yeah, no, not at it all. It actually isn't that bad. Cam, it's really not. I mean, it's not probably not something I would eat like. It's fishy. Right. So it's stalker trout, but it's still edible. It's still good. It's it not easy. It tastes like the crappie that we had like last week. Here, try this. No, one. the crappie was better. It's still good for families to yeah. come out and catch fish and take them home and eat them. Yeah. It's not bad. I'll eat this kind of fish. Here, Hills. What do you think? Definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You gotta be. remember, though, guys. Like a lot of a lot of people aren't spoiled as we are when it comes to you know, like we're like, oh, salmon. we'll just go out and get a salmon. What do you, think? you know, like so for a lot it's of people, right like good. they don't, Is it good, they don't know the difference. Like, mm -hmm. You like do. it? We're just in our minds. Haley likes it. Stuff. It's good. Ah, uh, good. Think about this too, it's all fresh. Like that's as fresh as it gets. Yeah. And when it comes to fish and fishiness and stuff that we usually don't like, it's because something's not fresh. Yeah, it's not it was fresh. killed yeah. weeks ago, it got shipped around, it got froze, it got defrosted, it got cooked in a restaurant. Like you can't be fresh. Dude, I'm if you were to take these, if you were to catch a limit of five of these, and you were to go home and you were to spend the time to fillet them and fry them, I think they would be good. 
Oh, for yeah. sure. Like really good. I, think I wouldn't you can, even. You I can wouldn't waste your time frying them. When you do it, you can just grab that backbone and they just like coconut. It'll pull right out. Yeah, but nothing is as good as fried filleted fish. Like, totally. It's the best by far. All right, Cam. Cam? No, I'm good. Come on, dude. I don't be a liar. I already Come tried on. something that's great. You're a liar. Oh, my gosh. Come on, here. <laughs> Dad, it's actually it. super, super good. I'm fine try it. it. I'm fine with it. No, I'm fine try it. it. I'm fine with it. Here, no, just try, try a now. piece. Now, now. Try it. <laughs> what are good. you doing? Get here. Away. All right, Charles. Stop. Eat Here's it. the true test. Eat what? it. Bite the tail off. Oh, God. Eat the butthole. Oh, no oh, way. Oh, okay. oh. <coughs> oh, I'm out, Dad. <laughs> Is it fresh? Is it good? Fresh. I'm literally getting a puke. Bye, Mom. <laughs> he spit it out. <laughs> you can't chew that up. It was chewable. Uh, I tried. You can't chew tail up. All right, everyone out there, thanks again so much for tuning into this video. We thought it'd be kind of fun to just bring you guys along to see if we could cook some stock trout and see if it actually tastes good. And it looks like the verdict is it is not that bad. So if you have opportunity to get out and catch some stock trout, do it. And then let us know your recipes in the comments below. If you guys like eat these trout or you guys have eaten them in the past, what, what's your favorite way to cook them? We'd love to know. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys on the river.